Now, who's up for dealing with horrible, horrible plantation? Yay! Nice to know the crops can grow out of control and go on their way to murder people. Huh. You know, that's never something I thought I'd be saying. About murdering plants or whatever. Huh. You must kill the plants. They're trying to kill us. Huh. They're stealing my air. Quit stealing my air! They're actually stealing the air you breathe out, dude. Quit stealing my air. And they're giving you the air you actually breathe. Quit stealing my air. It's my air. I want it back. Dude, that's how people die, you know. Don't you know basic freaking biology and how that shit works with humans breathing? Well, they, well, those bees just fuck each other. Don't worry about it. Like, yes, we breathe in plain dioxide, O2, and breathe out carbon dioxide, CO2. The carbon in there, we cannot breathe back in. So, yeah, if we're only breathing that same air breathing in and out, we're going to die. Re breathing in recycled air is how people die. That's why when you put a bag over somebody's head, they're breathing in their same air. They're not properly getting oxygen intake, so they're going to suffocate. That's how that works. God, are you people stupid. Anyway, welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Resident Evil Remake Blind as Chris Resfi Resfield. Yep. This is your host, the MJ4106, and Richard! Chris! Why are you here, dude? Oh, Chris, God. Stop. Oh, that's why his death was inevitable. Richard. Well, fuck. That's one way to get introduced to the sharks. Get the fuck away from me, bro! Ow! Who cares? I'll be okay. Just ignore them. It's not worth it. Anyway, this is your host, the MJ406, and we are now running away from sharks. I can run faster than they can swim. Not great sharks, are they? They're catching up to you pretty good, dude. And just weave and bob, bob and weave, bob and weave. Ow. Painful. Very, very painful. Yay, control room key. Thank you. Get me out of this room of the sharks. So that's why it's inevitable. He dies then. Huh. Why is he here? Well, that means Rebecca's here. Good. Now I don't have him weighing me down. The warning lamp indicates that there is an emergency. Huh. Could have fooled me. <laughs> yeah, I could have been fooled. I didn't think there was an emergency at all. Oh, I wanted to turn off the lights. Make it really scary. Dude, come on. There's no need to make things worse. Well, either way. Here we are. Caution. Case of a drop in oil pressure control. Open valve number two. I think it might change depending on the file. So, I think that's something to keep an eye on, I guess. Oh, yeah, I should probably take the map of the aqua ring. Here's our aqua ring. Oh, there's nothing to get in there at all. There's something to get in here. Yeah, I think I know where that is. Oh, well, at least now we have the aqua ring here. There are quite a few sharks down there. Not good ones. No sharks are good ones, man. At least you ask me. They might be eating off some of the pollution shit in the water for all I know. I don't know. But why not say they are doing something good for us? Otherwise, they're just predators of the sea. An herb mix of two green herbs was inside. Cool. More double green herb action. I hey, sure, that works. No pressure regulators. No need to adjust the pressure right now. Well, that's nice. So let's try to go out where the water is. Looks nice out there. The door is held tightly shut by the pressure of the water. If I'm man enough, I can get it open. Don't bother, man. It's not worth it. Really want to drown that bad or get hit what basically feels like from a tidal wave? Controls of the main system. Everything seems to be in proper working order. That's nice. Error message being displayed. Something appears to have gone wrong whilst the water is being drained. This is what you drain the water. Press it. Nah, not yet. I'm good. A pressure shelter. Ah, oh, that's to keep the water out. Now, yeah, that's what you need in case something like this happens. I want to start draining the water. Hey! Ah! Hi, shark! Hi there! Oh, no. That's just what we need. Oh, great. They show you all things in order, too. Makes sense. All right, well... It's, it's a crawl over the pressure shelter, but we'll budge until the safety is released. Oh, god damn, I gotta release the safety. Motherfucker, I keep forgetting about this. 
Pressure shelter is locked. Release the safety. Safety mechanism of the pressure shelter has been released. Yep. And well, you can't tell by the critical gauge. You have a timeline for this. Control over for the pressure shelter. Press it. Hurry up and relieve the pressure. Hurry up and... No! Oil pressure lost. Shelter operation terminated. Restore oil pressure, then release the safety. I guess I should. You know, I'm just gonna leave, guys. I'm just gonna leave. The water's not that high. We're fine. Dude, this is not the time to be doing this. The door appears to be locked by some sort of making safety mechanism. I release the safety mechanism first. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, man. Here, I thought I'd just flood the place and leave. Yo, that'd be such a dick move! That'd be such a dick move! <laughs> hmm, what happens if I press the wrong one, I wonder? Nothing. Nothing happened. Of pressure okay, control. so you press the wrong one. Nothing happens. Okay, so you don't want to waste precious time. You don't have the right one. Okay. I'm kind of tempted to just see what happens if I fail this. I am kind of tempted. I'm wondering if there's like a special cutscene of everything fucking flooding and me getting killed. Okay. Gotta release the safety again. 90 Critical 90%. God damn. So close. Hang on. I want to see if I can open that door now. You're gonna die, dude. You're gonna die. I'm curious now. I really am. I still can't leave. Damn it. I thought I could escape this way. Reaching 95% yep. of pressure threshold. They gave you All warnings. For oh, God. You're gonna die, and I'm gonna love it. Give you all this time. So you just gotta remember the order and everything if you do it right. Reaching maximum pressure threshold. Oh, that's cool. Time to die! Ah! Okay, so there's a special cutscene, kind of. Set bail, do it in time you die. I floundered around, but you see, you have plenty of time to do that. All right, let's just get it done and get it out of the way. This is not the time to pick that up. All right, fine. Fine, I won't pick up the health. Jeez. I just wanted some weed, man. I'm gonna die in here. I may as well smoke some weed before I go out, you know? It's fine, dude. Just pull the thing down and we're good. See? He's got to try the safety thing, do the pressure thing, then it fails, hit the right oil switch, and then do it again. That's it. Easy peasy, right? That's funny. Don't let you grab any items during. This is not the time! Oh, right. Lots of pressure's there. Safety's been released. Drain the water? Yep. Right, and you gotta drain the water again. Right. The water has been completely drained. Well, I guess he ain't don't have to worry about any water coming in. He can break the glass, it's still fine. <laughs> That's weird, when you're on a time limit, it's like, no. We don't have time to get sidetracked by items. No. I have the aqua ring. Oh well. At least we have to have some fun. <laughs> oh, I thought it was funny at least. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll take these mixed green herbs, and we'll be on our merry way. See? Isn't it fun swimming with sharks? No. They can be fun and lovable? No. I'd rather swing, swim with a whale. That's disturbing, considering how much bigger whales are. Honestly, I'd be much more afraid of a whale than a fucking shark. Dude, whales are the worst, man. They are huge. And don't forget, whales can kill sharks, dude. I'm pretty sure there's at least one video that's going viral of a of basically like I think there was a shark trying to go after a baby whale, and then the fucking mother sh whale basically beat the living fuck out of that shark, and then fed that shark to its baby. Like, dude, whales are something to be feared. I want to eat you so bad. Are you saying that to the shark? Yep. I never got to taste shark before. Oh, this one's already dead. Wasn't that nice? You say that. Yeah, why don't I believe you? Either way. Hey, I wanted a key! Uh-oh. It turned towards me. That's not good. It knows what to expect. Turn your unit for the water flow control system. Pull the lever down. Pull the lever down. 
Oh, the control system's up. The signal is like you electrocute you. If only there is some way to drop it into the water. Ow! The signal is like you electrocute you. Did you not listen to me, you dumbass? It's all that didn't actually hurt me. All right, so the generator's up. Let's uh, calm that thing down. I see. So it's trying to electrocute me. As much as I want to go swim with sharks, I'd rather the shark go swimming with itself. Ah! In hell! <laughs> Take that shark! Take that shark! Well, it burned itself out. We're good there. Generator unit for the water flow control system. It's toasted. So, yep. Just remember to do that. You try to go to the water before you electrocute this thing, you will die immediately. I proved that my Jill playthrough. Don't be like me. You're in the Jill playthrough. And then we got the residence key, finally. This looks pretty dumb. Word gallery is printed on it. Oh! That still looks kind of dumb for a key. But yep, you gotta electrocute the shark to be able to pass. So, yep, just be wary. Turn the fuse on, and you electrocute yourself, just remember to turn it off. Uh, it's kind of fun to get electrocuted, though, in this place. Oh, I'm missing something. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, man, I can't I can't stop myself from burping right now. There's large teeth marks in the chair. Oh, they must have gone after the people in here once the water flooded. Huh. There's another item in here, I wonder. Could be something on the shark. Well, that'd be weird if the shark had something on him. There are all these things here, too. Various types of machinery. You have no idea what they're used for. I ain't no shit, but... Thanks for the obvious. Okay, we can stop reading it now. We don't need to look into it. Is something else up here I didn't notice? So there's another item around here somewhere. The generator here is toasted, which is fine by me. All right. Damn it! I see red. Makes me think there's another item somewhere. At least I would think. Now yeah, what do I know? There's a fucking shark here. There could be a lot of anything in here. I hope I didn't miss it. Eh. It's probably just like a weapon or something. Now remember, you can see it from the glow. If you'd be able to see a glow, there's an item you could grab. Oh, I thought I saw something. There it is. A salt shotgun. Oh, what is this? Fires 12 gauge shells. A star's custom arsenal and also Richard's favorite. Richard's gun. Oh, baby. Look at this. Fires 12 gauge shells. Weapon that's capable of firing wide range. Oh, baby. I have a shotgun that can fire 10 shells. Experiment monitor. It looks like it was being used to gather data on sharks. Why do I want data on sharks? I don't know. Oh, good thing I paid attention to the map. Sweet. So now we have a shotgun that can carry more shells. Sounds useful, right? And you get basically ten free shotgun shells with it as well. I guess he dropped it in that... I guess Richard dropped it while in that room. And we got magnum shells. Oh, I have to come back for this. The other pile on top of each other by the overflowing water. I guess so. Oh, man, I have to come back and get this. Son of a bitch. Oh, sorry. The materials are packed up tightly. This place looks like, just like a garbage dump. I do want that those magnum rounds with me. Because the magnum will be useful later on in the game. Man, this is the last place I want to use the handgun, so... All right. I should probably put this handgun away. So let's go do that. That's a waste of time. Yep, that's how we get out of here. I was debating doing that whole room thing in the last episode, but eh, may as well finish with the sharks now, right? So, now that's taken care of. And I got a brand new shoddy to take with, it, take with me. I guess I'll keep it with me for the time being. Oh, I should probably also unlock this door since I'm already here. May as well knock that out, too. Because what's better than making sure I can go places? Thank you, gallery key. I don't need you anymore. Now get out of my life. Ah, bees! Not again! 
Yeah, is he wet? No, thank you. I'm done at that. I'm not going near somebody who's wet. I hate water. Is that gonna kill us, dude? I know, but I just, I've never been a fan of water. Are those bees talking? Why are those bees talking? <laughs> this place is getting too weird for me. Is this whole virus whatever thing making them talk? No. Like I said, Chris, you're hallucinating, okay? Just accept the fact you're hallucinating and let it go, man. Just let it go, man. Oh, I don't have a handgun on me. Right, I have a fucking herb mixture on me. No, I should probably make use of all these. No, not that green herb. He's the blue herb. Which reminds me. Put that with these. And while you're at it. Any mixed herb green mixture, I'm just going to combine the blue with those. So that way, I don't have to worry about them. Bam! Now look at that. It's beautiful. Now you'll excuse me. I need this book. And, um, yeah, I guess that's it, huh? Yeah, that should be it. All right, then. With that, I can now pick up that magnum ammo. Which I'm going to time warp back to that room just so I can grab it immediately and get back here. So I don't waste as much time. I would have thought having too much stuff on me would be such an inconvenience. God damn it, Chris. By the way, I almost forgot to mention something. That Richard, that assault shotgun of the ten shells. That's basically the reward you get for um, rescuing Richard. I forgot to mention that. Because, you know, it's only proper you get something from them for rescuing them. I wish you could have gotten the grenade launcher with Chris, but I guess that's just a Jill luxury. Huh. Why well, I feel like that I'm going to get a different weapon with Chris. Supposedly, a, maybe a flamethrower? Because you get to hold a broken flamethrower Jill's playthrough when we're dealing with her and the one maze thing. Maybe a flamethrower is what Chris gets at one point. Ah, Barry has it too, when we fight the planet. Huh, maybe we're going to run into that soon. Let's find out. And yeah, so I might have just somewhat spoiled it, but yep, I knew that reward. But I was kind of disappointed when I first saved um, Richard, because... Funny thing. You can save Richard and Jill's campaign as well, and you get the reward earlier than this. Maybe I can go over that once we, um, get through this whole campaign. I'll see how much time we have once we get to the last episode and see what I want to do with it. I can either just explain or so show a few things off. I'll figure that out. Show some alternate happenings for things. But until then, all I've got now is going forward with what I have. Which is an assault shotgun I put away because I want to waste all the ammo on this first. Before I even think about using that one. Besides, these are six shells I'm not going to be able to get back. I can't transfer from one gun to another, as awesome as that would be. Anyway, here's this room. Goddamn handgun magazine. Maybe I should have the handgun with me when I go through there. Just maybe. I gotta remember to look for all the side rooms. There's a couple side rooms here. And the bees are still bothering me. What a bunch of assholes. Alright, there's this guy. A corpse with a contorted expression on his face. A pain on his face. He's holding something. It's an insecticide spray. Yay! Ah, too many bees! Ah, ah, bees! All right, fine. It's too dangerous to go any further. Get away from our queen, you bitch. Ah, get fuck! Get off me, bees. Damn, they really go after you like crazy. Yeah, by the way, I think you can't ignore the bees if you choose not to look at the hole after you get the map. But, you know. Curiosity killed the cat, as they say. I'm not a cat, though. That's not what's important. You see a giant beehive, that's all that matters. They want you dead, that's all that really matters. So let's use the insecticide to kill them. They weren't ready for me to do it in this hole. Ah! Ultimate penetration. Oh, God damn it! You killed our queen! What is our purpose? We will kill you till we find one! Damn you! Revenge! Revenge! Huh. I wonder how mindless minds would... Bees would be if you killed their queen. I never really thought about that before. Maybe it's not worth thinking about. Why have a queen you've never seen before? 
These have been used for some kind of experiment? Well, I don't need insecticide anymore, so it's already gone. Oh, yeah, we have this fucking door thing. The lockpick is for the door. Use it. Alright, so now we see these. So, just remember what, which one of these was for which one of the uh, colors represented by the numbers of the pool balls. I think this was six and this was five. Yep. Get it right, you're going to lock the door. I feel like that's something that changes every time you play the game, too. So you have to look over and make sure you know what you're doing. You know, numbers three, five, and six are involved. That's all you know. Hmm. Something written on the wall. One plus three equals four. Four plus six equals ten. One plus six equals seven. Ten plus seven equals seventeen. And seventeen plus three equals twenty. What's in all these jars? What's with all these jars? You don't know much about medicine, so there's no point in taking the empty bottle. Huh. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> you don't know much about medicine, so there's no point in taking the, medicine bo the empty bottle. Medicine, huh? Why do I get the feeling... Where's Jill? I know she's the master of putting things in, in and out of jars. I always had to ask her to open the pickle jar for me. Wow. Wow, really? <laughs> Ooh, red herb! Gimme! i always be happy to take a red herb, so don't mind me. Block to the other side. Oh, that sucks. Why the hell is that locked? I guess it doesn't matter. Is there something else in here? Yes, there is. Oh, right! Idiot! You killed the bees! Get your prize from killing the bees, you moron! Now this thing's just a massive waste of space. And now we go we need... Number 003 is imprinted. God damn it, they is imprinted. <laughs> Stop laughing! It's not that funny! It's pretty funny. I guess you're right. Either way, new room. Let's go in. Away from the bees. I guess bees would basically just die off if their queen died. They wouldn't have a purpose. I, you know, I never really thought about it. I don't think I care enough to worry about it. Hello? Who's in the bathroom? I'm coming in. I gotta go take a leak. Oh, no. Hang on. It's private in here. Huh. Oh, that's nice. Rounds of some kind of giant player sticking out of the wall. Man, I'm all for fancy decor, but isn't that a little much? Yeah, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on in here. Huh. Well, so much for that. Nothing in here. Not even a dead body or anything. Or an undead body, whatever you want to call it. Tap for the wash base. It doesn't seem to be working. Oh, it must have drained all that, too. Well, I would not want to go to the bathroom in here. And I'm I'm above I'm too classy to pee in a bathtub. Dude, sometimes when you gotta go, you gotta go. Besides, the water washes it down. Ew. What? The shelf is lined with red books. There's one white book sandwich between them. Take it. Oh sure, why not? Organic chemistry lab experiment. The similarities in the cellular characteristics of the rapidly growing plant infected by the tired virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an interesting new fact became clear. We learned that a chemical in the UMB family, UMB number 20, contains a compound that is toxic to the cells of the plant. We have given UMB number 20 a new name, V-Jolt. If calculations prove correct, when V-Jolt is applied directly to the root of the plant, the entire plant should be dead within five seconds. The V-Jolt can be made by simply mixing the VP and UMB chemicals in a specific ratio. However, extra care must be taken when handling these UMB chemicals. They have been known to generate toxic gases if it's handled. The characteristics of each UMB chemical are as follows. UMB number 3, red. Yellow 6, yellow. UMB number 7, green. UMB number 10, orange. VP 17, blue. And Vigil, dark brown. Huh, I guess that makes sense. Well, thanks, I guess. For whatever knowledge that is for. Old fashioned high quality bed. Wasn't that nice? A nice reminder. Huh. Your view is blocked by a dense thicket of trees. A giant plant is crushing the wall. A swarm of angry moths surrounds it. This is our room! How dare you ruin our room like this, you jerk! 
There is a typewriter here. There's no ink ribbons in here, though. Oh, well. Oh, right! I forgot! The space in between the books catches your attention. I wonder... I should probably put this in there, then. The bindings of the books seem to form some kind of pattern. Reorder the books? Why not? Yes, why not indeed? Yes, keep reordering the books. I need to move this all throughout here, as such. Also, I gotta say, this is just weird. Like, yeah. The image is a little weird. I'm just gonna leave that alone. Huh. I see. Somebody had to get their fetish out somehow, so they put a naked woman on the fucking side of the book cover. Yeah. That's what they did. They line up all of them so you can see that picture. Somebody certainly is perverted, I guess. Ha! Neat. Well, either way, let me go do one more thing before I... Am I really going to end the episode now? We haven't even done that much! Yeah, maybe I should go forward. Fuck it. Just let me prepare first. Let me prepare. And I kind of want to say it beforehand just so I can not have to redo a lot of shit. Man, think of all the trouble I go through. Just to make sure I don't die. Well, sometimes it's just the way that you gotta deal with life. One step at a time. One painful, painful step at a time. Which is why I gotta be prepared for every single one of those steps. Every single goddamn one. I guess I'll take the handgun. Oh yeah, I should combine this with another green herb. Always a fantastic idea. So, bam! There we go. Don't use it. Although I am in pain. I should consider using one of these, probably. Hmm... How about we do this instead? Let me just take two green herbs, mix them together, and take those. Oh, I guess I got hurt by the bees. Damn, I didn't even think about that. Shit. Which reminds me. You really plan on using handgun ammo? Honestly. Yes. You, you're crazy, man. You're crazy. Ugh. What am I going to do with you? Either way, last time I got to make use of that chemical to kill that plant, supposedly. So now I don't have that luxury. The only real choice I have is to fight it head on. Oh, God, why? Why are you so stupid? Hey, not like I was given, I was given the choice between brains and beauty. I picked beauty. <sighs> Why am I not surprised anymore? By how stupid you sound. Alright. Let's give this thing a go. I'm keeping the ink ribbons here, so if I die, I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> we can try it later. I should have carried other health with me. I picked ink ribbon here instead of carrying health. You know what? Fuck it! This is fine. This is fine. We'll make this work. <laughs> That's all I know. We'll make it work, damn it. We'll find a way. Alright then. Let's deal with this. So Yep. If you don't wanna be if you don't wanna be sneaky and deal with this plant, you gotta deal with it the hard way, which is basically Ah oh, shit! Come to fight me head on already, huh? Shit! Didn't expect it to be so quick. Ow! Well, yeah, that'll do it. Alright then, plant. You're on, bitch. You're on. Can I leave? I'm gonna get out of here. I don't like this. <laughs> There's a giant plant there. I'm not a fan. Not at all. Huh. That's nice you can leave. Ah, but the door's not blocked anymore. Ah, I guess it's to indicate. Yep, yep, it's plant time. So, yep. Now it's time to fight this plant. So, let's see how to deal with this. 
Oh, God damn it, Al. Gotta be careful. Gotta wait for it to open up and then start firing at it. Just stay away from it. Just wander around. Try to avoid its tentacles. Wait for it to open up. Ow. Ow! Fuck! Ow! 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 Could you stop whipping me? Ow! Well, I guess we can have the episode on this if I die. Damn, yeah, that thing opens up quick. She just gotta survive its whipping! Ow! As well as the poison it drops. Aha! Like that shit! Huh. Makes it feel like I did something. Maybe I'm weakening it? I don't know. But it is being very violent towards me. I'm gonna die, I feel like. Oh, man. You got two different areas to fight it from. Ah, fuck! Yep. I should have brought a healing item. <laughs> you tried to fight a plant head on and lost. I am carnivorous. It's just a dick. Well, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, by the way, I never mentioned there's an alternate title screen you have for when you um beat the campaign once and are doing the campaign again. So, yep, that's proof that I've beat the Joe playthrough before. If you really needed that for some reason. Eh. Fuck it. There you go. Alright, well, either way. I guess we'll have this episode here. So, yep, you don't have the luxury of killing it through the chemical like you did the Jill playthrough. Fear can't kill you, but... You have to kill it the old-fashioned way with Chris. Which means I should probably go back and get some health so I can deal this thing the right way. I'd rather use my handgun ammo so I could just say I did. Either way, let's end this episode here. So, yep, you got plant. Fun times deal with plant. I love plant. Actually, I hate plant. Plant is the worst. I hate plant. It's a mean, mean plant that wants nothing but to eat me and suck out my blood. What an asshole! Adver poisons it, too. Well, it's probably not poison to it, you idiot. Come back next time, and we are going to kill that plant. Through handgun, shotgun... And probably some healing, which I would probably need. We're going to beat that gun one... Gun. One way or the other. And it's going to be through brute force. Now, I have so many healing items, I should just fucking use them. What's the point of it if you're not going to use the healing, you dumbass? Just protect yourself. God!